Hello, today we're going to talk about trailer loading. This is this little guy's first time on the trailer. He came to me a year or 18 months beforehand, he's three years old now, and um, he came on a truck, so this is the first time he's seen the trailer. You can see I've got a bridle on him that's just for training. I don't obviously travel them in a bridle but I do find you've got a lot more control with the bridle. So let's just have a little chat about trailer loading in general. It's something I'm called out for a lot and what I hear is people tell me my horse is perfect but he won't get on the trailer and for me I don't think that's probably true because getting on the trailer is just it's uh, go forward go backwards thing it's not anything complicated so what it means is your horse hasn't got those basic commands so he doesn't understand um, the the idea of walk forwards walk backwards that's pretty fundamental when you think about it you can see here this horse is being loaded onto a slant load I've got it really open and nice for him there he didn't back off straight that's fine I'm not going to correct that what the lesson is all about is keep your nose in the center of the trailer walk on back off walk on back off and I want to get that pattern going with him what I do find when I get out to horses that haven't um had any other training with me just this trailer loading is that they've got some real foundation missing so I don't actually start with the trailer I start a long way away from the trailer with walk forward walk backwards be soft in the bridle um, and I do a lot of give to the bit work which is the basic uh, foundation work uh, on my program so I think it's important that we remember that that Teaching the horse to go on a trailer is no different really from teaching flying changes. It's just that you need some foundation. You need something from which to build. So if your horse is, pulls back when it's tied up or if your horse pulls on the lead, for example, you're going to have a lot of trouble with this lesson until you fix those basics. So back to this little horse. So you, even though I'm teaching this on a slant load, I want the horse to learn to back off quietly because I often find horses will go on but they run off backwards and I don't think they're scared of getting on they're worried about getting off and they know once they get on that they're going to have to get off so I think it's very important that you teach getting on and getting off at the same time so once he was backing off slowly and straight and calmly then if I'm doing a slant load or a truck I'm quite happy to then take him and turn him around inside. Not all horses are big enough to turn around inside and then I just stick with the getting off backwards, which is absolutely fine. And of course, that's what you need for a straight load. So that's fine as well. You certainly don't want to train them to get off by turning around too early on. <laughs> I'm pushing him over there, exaggerating that for you. But this horse has just learned hips to the fence, which is an, another um, course on my site. So you can go and have a look at that and it just teaches the horse to stand still and quiet while you mount. And that's the cue for it, move your hips to the left. So he got a bit confused there, which is fine. All right, so well done little three-year-old, first time on the trailer, that's what we want to see. As riders, we all know that things don't always go according to plan. But having a plan, a system, a program that follows a step-by-step -step process is no doubt the best way to really make a difference with your riding, training and your horse's performance, not to mention your relationship with your horse. Whether you're planning on competing, trail riding or simply having a great relationship with your horse on the ground, then you need regular structured lessons each with an aim and a clearly defined achievable outcome. The CanDo Equine Online Training System is exactly this. Not only do the lessons build on one another, giving you a solid foundation, but I carefully discuss possible problems. It's not all perfection and pretty pictures, it's real life. 
It's always nice to have a trainer or a coach standing in the middle of the arena, but few of us can afford such a luxury on a regular basis. And there comes a time when we realize that in order to make real progress, that we must first recognize what's not right and then learn how to address that ourselves. The fact is that you know your horse better than anyone. And once you start training your horse yourself, the only thing you're going to wonder is why you didn't start years ago. So come on, let's get you back in the saddle and put the fun back into your horsemanship.